video I'd like to share a really uh, fast way to solve the fast Fourier transform and this will be helpful to anyone preparing for the DSAP exams. So in the fast Fourier transform you're given a problem such as this. So you have five terms here. The first thing you do is uh, make eight terms out of that and how you do that is basically by adding uh, three zeros to the end. So if you have five you add three zeros and make it eight. Okay. So the next step would be to draw a butterfly diagram and that's uh, basically how you solve uh, fast Fourier transforms. So the way to draw that is first okay this is the, there are two ways of doing this the first one is called decimation in time and the second one is called decimation in frequency okay I'm going to draw the butterfly diagram for decimation in time so you just draw eight lines six seven and eight okay so that's what you do okay one two three four five six seven eight okay so on the right side you just start writing capital X okay zero one two three four five six and seven okay on the left side for decimation in time of course uh, this is what we're doing right now uh, there's a pattern to write. Uh, what you write is the small x's and the pattern is as follows. x0, okay, and skip one and write x2. Go up, write x4. Go down and write x6. Okay, as you can see these are all even numbers. Now do the same thing but with odd numbers. Okay, x1, x3, x5, and x7. Okay, so now you need to divide this whole thing into three uh, parts. Okay, so what you do is just draw some guidelines. Okay, these are not strictly speaking necessary, but they do help. Okay, so so what I've done basically is I have three parts. Now this is one part, this is the other part, and this one is the other part. Okay, so in the first part just draw arrows. Go up, go down, leave a gap. Okay, go up, go down, leave a gap. Go down, leave a gap. Okay, so that's what you have. So here you uh, do the same thing but with two uh, gaps. So, okay, so I just went down two steps. Two steps. Two steps. Okay, leave a gap. Okay, that's done. Now here you do the same thing but with four steps. Okay, so that's what we are doing right now, and okay, I hope I got this, uh, yeah, okay, so the next step is wherever you're going up, you just, before that, you just add uh, an omega 8 term, okay, omega 8, okay, we're going up here, so omega 8. We're going up here, so omega 8, omega 8, okay, here we're going up, so omega 8, omega 8, and here, omega 8, same thing here, 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 and here. Okay, omega 8 also has a superscript, uh, and uh, they're different for different columns, so the first col for the first column it's all zeros, zero, zero zero and zero and for the second column it's zero two zero two okay and for the third column it's zero one two three okay so now that we've done that the next step is to add a minus one to uh, each path where you can find uh, an omega h so minus one here and here 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 and something similar and there's an omega eight here, so there's minus one, minus one, and on all four of these, minus one, minus one, minus one. Now you want to draw this diagram as clearly as you can, and then just uh, find paths from each 
a line to each of these other lines that's what we're doing so now uh, our step is to find each of these omega a terms so for that we first need the formula for omega n and that is e raised to the power minus j uh, uh, wait okay 2 pi by n I believe okay so for omega 8 that is e minus j pi by 4 okay so omega 8 0 is of course e minus j uh, pi by 4 raised to the power 0 which is 1 and then omega 8 1 is e minus j pi by 4 raised to the power 1 which is cos pi by 4 minus uh, j sine pi by 4 which comes out to 1 by root 2 minus j sine 1 by root 2 and omega 8 2 is of course e raised to minus j pi by 4 raised to the power 2 this comes out to be minus j you can calculate this similarly omega 3 is minus 1 by root 2 minus j 1 by root 2 and now what we need to do is find each of these terms x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 all the way to x7 now normally how we would do that is by finding paths for example let's say x0 right what we would do is how do you get to x0 from small x0 okay let's see we're here okay we just follow the path and we can get there straight away okay you just write it down here x zero right and then how do we get there from x4 we just climb up once and then we get to x0 straight away so plus x4 omega 8 zero and that's how we would do it normally but there is a very easy pattern to find these uh, values and that's what I'm going to show you next okay so basically x0 is always the sum of all of these terms basically x small x0 4 and everything so we just add add them x0 plus x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 plus x7 okay so we just calculate this and that is the value of x0 now for x1 the pattern is something like this x0 plus x1 omega 8 1 plus x2 can you guess yeah omega 8 2 plus x3 okay it's omega 8 3 but how you write it is omega 8 2 into omega 8 1 okay and then plus now you repeat this whole thing and but add minus 1 at the beginning so just like this minus 1 x4 there's nothing here so okay that's done minus 1 x5 omega 8 1 so we write omega 8 1 plus minus 1 x6 okay omega 2 we just write it plus minus 1 x7 okay, the same thing omega 2 omega 1 and that is done we just calculate this and that is the value of x1 as you can see this is a lot faster than going through this whole figure and then uh, figuring out uh, the paths from each of these to each of these that is uh, that takes a long time so we have this pattern which makes it a lot faster I think it will save you something like 10 to 15 minutes okay x2 equals now what you do is just write them down first okay x0 plus x1 plus x2 plus x3 and just after 4 just repeat them on the bottom x4 plus x5 plus x6 plus x7 
Okay, so what you do now is just divide this up from the middle like this. Okay, and then add a minus one term to each of these terms on the right hand side. Now just find the odd terms x1, x5, x3, x7 and add an omega 8 2 to each of them. And voila, you have calculated x2. Now we need to find x3. Okay, so how you find that? Do the same thing as before. Just divide up this whole thing. Okay, plus x4. Okay, we need plus here, plus x5, plus x6, plus x7. Now the pattern is quite similar to x1 here, but the indices are different. Uh, like I'll show you, there's nothing on x0, there's an omega 8 3 here, and an omega 8 2 here, and omega 8 2, omega 8 3 here. Okay, and now similar to that one, we just repeat this pattern with a minus 1. Uh, oh, sorry, we just repeat it first. Okay, omega 8 3, omega 8 2. Oh my god, 2, oh my god, 3. Okay, so that's what we have right now. So you add minus to 2, 3, and 4, 5. Okay, so 4, 5. There's a minus 1. And also on 2 and 3. So, okay. Uh, so that's how you find x3. This is a bit uh, slightly more complicated than the other patterns, but of course it's uh, not that hard to remember. You just divide it up into uh, groups of 4, and then you add omega 3 here, omega 2 here, omega 2 and 3 here, omega 3 here, 2 here, 2 and 3 here, just like uh, there's a pattern. Uh, okay, so, and then uh, just add the minus 1 on 2, 3, and 4, 5. And now we find uh, x4. Okay. Now for x4, we just do x0 minus x1 plus x2 minus x3 plus x4. I'm sure you get the pattern. x5 plus x6 and minus x. So on each of the odd terms, there is a minus, and it's very easy to calculate. So by now, what we have done is we have calculated x0, x1, x2, x3, and x4. Now to calculate x5, we just take the conjugate of x1. Let's say this, okay? Okay, to calculate x6, we just take the conjugate of x2 and to calculate x7, that's just the conjugate of x1. How did I know this? Well, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What we do is we just take two numbers and they should add up to 8. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 6 plus 2 is 8, 1 plus 7 is 8. So if that happens then you just take the conjugate. And we have basically solved this problem because we have the value of x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 all the way to x7. And uh, this is a very uh, easier way to solve this uh, problem than going through this whole figure. But of course you need to draw this uh, just to show that you understand the problem and you also need to show the values of omega 0, 1, 2 and 3. <coughs> okay, now what I'm going to do is show you the same thing but for decimation in frequency. Now the only thing that's uh, different here is the butterfly diagram. Okay, so I'm going to show you 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so now what you do is basically just take a mirror of what we have here. So here we 
root this in a simple way and root our pattern here so in but in this this one we just write this one in a simple way the small axis so x1 x2 x3 and 4 5 6 and 7 so apparently I drew one extra okay so this is not okay so let's uh, now here we write our pattern just like before x0 x2 x4 and x6 and then we just start from the odd ones x1 x3 x5 and x7 so now what we do is uh, just divide this up into three smaller segments okay and we started by drawing the one step on the left before now we start from the right so here 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 and here we just do the two steppers okay two steps and two steps and here we do the four steppers okay so this one and this one and this one okay i don't know okay and this one x01 oh i missed uh, x2 okay something like that okay so as you can see this is quite similar uh, to what we did before okay and so okay like that and then now here we wrote omega h when we were going up here we write the omega h when we are going uh, down okay so omega 8 omega 8 omega 8 omega 8 and then here and then here right here and something like before we have zeros here and 0 2 0 2 and here 0 1 2 and 3 and when we have omega 8 we also have minus ones okay minus ones here we have minus ones minus one minus one and minus one minus one minus one minus one minus one okay so this is basically your figure